On to the second way to write uh, an equation of a line. This is in slope intercept form, and this is the test writer's favorite form, mainly because there is exactly one equation in slope intercept form for any given line. I can't have more than one answer for slope intercept. I'm just going to have one. And it's called slope intercept because um, the equation gives you the slope and the y intercept. And if you think about a line, a line can have exactly one slope and exactly one y intercept, so there's exactly one slope intercept form. And this is a classic form, and uh, most people, or most of your parents, and, and myself included, I um, learned slope intercept form first, and my algebra teacher loved slope intercept form. And as an algebra teacher, I understand why people love slope intercept form because there's one right answer. It makes grading quizzes and homework super easy because everyone has to have the exact same right answer. But it's not the easiest form to write. It's actually point slope simplified, um, which means you have to distribute and combine like terms. And that's where y'all mess up. And so as a student of algebra, I love slope, uh, slope uh, point slope, sorry, because point slope uh, it has no simplification at all. It's just, you know, plug in the point and the slope and you're good. Slope intercept, as a student of algebra, I do not like because you have to calculate it and you can get all kinds of things wrong. But you have to know both because you're going to be tested over both. Um, and so slope intercept looks like this, y equals mx plus b. All right, and if you ask your parents for the equation of a line, they're going to probably spout out if they remember y equals mx plus b. And m is still the slope. And 0, comma b is the are the coordinates of the y-intercept. So these are the coordinates of the y-intercept. So this means that if I have an equation like y equals 5x minus 7, that means that this 5 is the slope. And the y-intercept is 0, negative 7. Now, this form looks familiar for transformations because remember that m is what changed the steepness of the line uh, and that b was kind of like how far you move it up or down on the y-axis. Well, I mean, that's, that's really what slope-intercept form is. That minus 7 is the y-intercept. And if you look at this, this is like the direct variation, right? It goes to the origin but then I just add on some number to get my uh, y-intercept, and so that's slope-intercept form. So it's direct variation that's been transformed, basically, is what slope-intercept is. And it's an easy concept, um, but it's not always the easiest equation to write, as we will soon see. So let's go ahead and write some equations for lines in slope-intercept form. Um, this time I'm going to give you, whoopsie, give in not given, given the slope m equals negative one half and a point six five. And I've made a little t-chart because there are really two ways to do this. One we're going to call the old school way, which if you do Kumon or you learn a little bit of algebra outside of school, this is what they teach you. And this is how I learned how to write it, um, how your parents probably learned how to write it. Um, so what you do for the old school method is you start off with the format you want. You want y equals mx plus b, and you plug in what you know. Well, the only thing you know in this is the slope, which is negative one-half. So you have y equals negative one-half times x plus b. And you're not allowed to have three unknowns. The y and the x need to stay there to make it an equation of a line, but I gotta figure out what b is. So how do I figure out what b is? Well, this point gives me a y value and an x value, so I'm going to substitute in the y value and the x value, and solve for b. So my y value is 5, and then my x value is 6, and I need to figure out what b is. So 5 equals negative 3 plus b, and b equals 8. So then therefore, the equation of the line that contains the point 6, 5 and has a slope of negative 1 half should be y equals negative 1 half x plus 8. Now I can check this on my calculator pretty quickly. I just go to y equals and I type in the equation uh, negative a half x plus 8. And I just have to make sure that the point um, 6, 5 is on there. And it is, 6, 5 is right there. So that's the correct uh, way to write the equation of the line. 
This is what I call the old school method. You start off with y equals mx plus b, plug in the slope, plug in an x and the y into the format, and solve for b. Now here's what I prefer to do now. So this is the newness. So the new way to do it is to go ahead and write the equation in point-slope form. So y minus 5 equals negative 1 half times x minus 6. Okay, and then all I'm going to do is simplify it. So simplify point-slope. All right? No, I don't care how you do it. I don't care if you use old school or just simplify point slope. As long as you can get this equation for this line, I'm happy. So uh, let's just try the new method. Uh, so y minus 5 equals negative 1 half x plus 3, because negative 1 half times uh, 6 is negative 6 and minus, uh, or sorry, th negative 3 and minus negative 3 is plus 3. You know, you might have been wondering why we did so many distribution of negative problems when we were solving and simplifying. This is why. Um, and so then I just have to move this over by adding 5 to both sides. So I get y equals negative 1 half x plus 8. And that's it. So I have the equation in point slope form, or sorry, slope intercept form from point slope. Now, it's always the same two steps too. Whenever you simplify point slope, you always distribute, and then you just have to move that term over and then combine the terms, and that's it. I mean, literally, that's, that's the two steps. Distribute and then add. Woo. Done. So now I want to find the equation of a line in slope-intercept form that goes through the points 4, 9, and 12, 5. And I have to specify slope-intercept because if I didn't, you would just use point-slope, which is what I would do. But I want to find the equation in slope-intercept form, and so I have to do some work here. Um, Whenever you have to write the equation of a line, no matter what form it's in, and no matter what kind of information I give you, whether it's a graph or a table or whatever, you always have to find the slope first, right? As I said in the slope lesson, slope is the most important aspect of a line, and so I have to calculate it first. And I can use the formula, which I'm going to do this time. I could also use bug arms or graph the points and use a slope triangle. Um, but right now, the formula seems uh, pretty nice to me. So y2 is 5, y1 is 9. Uh, x2 are, is 12 and x1 is 4 and so 5 minus 9 is negative 4 and 12 minus 4 is 8 which means it looks like my slope is negative 1 half. Um, and so now let's write the equation of a line. I will say this though um, before we move on. Uh, if you mess up the slope everything you do after slope is going to be wrong. So when you when we check at the end to make sure that we wrote the equ correct equation, um, you got to verify that you got your slope right. If you just like subtract wrong or you mess up a sign or something, this whole thing is wrong. So uh, double check to make sure you did your slope right, which I'll find out at the end when I check my answer. So now that I have my slope, I can write the equation of the line. And I have two methods. Remember, I have the old school method, which means I just plug stuff into y equals mx plus b and then solve for b. Or I can just write it in point slope and convert, which is what I'm going to do. So y minus y1, which is going to be 9, equals negative 1 half times x minus 4. Now, one of the benefits of writing it in point slope first is that you can check right now to make sure that you did your slope right and just simplify and make sure you simplified right. So this is a good way to stack, uh, check in stages. And so I have to make it calculator ready, which means I have to add 9 to both sides. So I have y equals negative 1 half x minus 4 plus 9. Now I'm going to check with this equation right here to make sure that I found my slope right. And so um, negative 0.5, open parentheses, x minus 4 plus 9, and I better find the points 4, 9, and 12, 5 in my table. And 4, 9 is right there. And 12, 5 is right there. So whew, my slope is right. And this equation is also right. So I know up to here that I've done everything correctly. And so now all I have to do is simplify this thing right here. So if I check my answer again after I simplify it's wrong, then I know that my mistake is in my simplification. So y minus 9 is going to stay y minus 9, and I have to distribute negative 1 half. So negative 1 half times x 
is negative 1 half x, and then negative 1 half distributed to the minus 4 becomes a plus 2. All right? And if I'm paranoid, I can check this right here and make sure I did that step right And before I go on, but I'm not paranoid. So I'm going to add 9 to both sides, and I get y equals negative 1 half x plus 11. Okay, so now I'm going to check, because if this is wrong, there's only two places for me to check. One, check to make sure I distributed correctly, and if you messed up, that's very likely where your mistake is. Or, and then the second place to check is to make sure I got rid of whatever was attached to the 9. Um, and so I'm going to leave that original equation in there, and I'm going to type in the new one. Negative uh, 0.5x plus, uh oh, I pressed the wrong button. Sorry. Negative 0.5x plus 11, right? And I'm going to go to the table and just verify that those two tables are identical, and they are. Therefore, the equation of this line in slope intercept form is y equals negative 1 half x plus 11. So now let's check and see if you understand slope intercept form. So I want you to write the equation of the lines in slope intercept form given a the point 0.58 and the slope negative 3 and b given a line that contains the points 5, 9 and 12, negative 3. And now for the final understanding check for slope intercept, I want you to convert this point slope form y minus 18 equals negative 2 times x minus 4 uh, into slope intercept.